Hi, I'm Jenny with Kids Learning for Life, and I wanted to share some items that have been useful in my homeschool lately. Two of which are these kittens, which keep my kids very occupied, and these will be our barn cats. So they will serve a very real purpose here at our home, but for now, we're just babying them like crazy. Okay, let me put these little guys away and then I'll get to my list. The first item that has pretty much changed my homeschool life are my simple black bookends that I got on Amazon. I don't have them in front of me right now because they're serving a very real purpose of holding up all my Ambleside Online books. I have a new homeschool cabinet. Well, I got it last year and I've been stacking all of my books that we've been using for Ambleside Online, which is a lot of books at once all on this cabinet, but they kept falling over. The girls didn't want to ever grab from there because it would just topple the whole thing over. So I bought these very simple black bookends and they've kind of changed all of our lives. So I'm grateful for them. And that's why I suggest if you have book disorganization issues like I do, then bookends are the way to go and they are so cheap. I'll make sure to link to them in the description below. And for that matter, all of the items that I'm going to be talking about here will be linked below so that you can check them out for yourself. But yes, I highly recommend bookends and these are essential for any Ambleside Online homeschooler. But even if you're not using Ambleside Online, I keep a lot of just my like, traditional curriculum stacked up with these bookends and they are just great. Now the next item I wanted to mention is kind of a weird one, but it is koosh balls. I love these and I grew up playing with these in the 90s. And these are great because the kids can play ball in the house and I'm not super worried about them knocking things over or breaking things because these don't bounce off of things. They're not super hard, they're very padded. And also like, I'm not really afraid of the kids themselves like hitting each other in the face with this. Like if you hit get hit in the face with this, it's not that big of a deal. So these are great and they keep my kids, especially my toddler, occupied for huge chunks of time, which is priceless. This is actually an off-brand koosh ball. I forget what they even called it, but we won this as a prize at the local arcade. And so we got a ton of these because our points scored us a bunch of these but I will link to some actual koosh balls in the description below, the ones that I used to play with in the 90s. Next, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite new items that I didn't even buy. My husband bought it, and it's this marker organizer. I hope you can see what this does. So it has a lid on top, and then it has all these little grid spaces to put your markers in. Now we don't have a lot of markers here. These are new to our house because I have a toddler. So I've been sticking to things that don't make a huge mess, like, I don't know, colored pencils or crayons. But now we're introducing markers, which has been a huge learning experience for her and us. And this is a great organizational item for markers. Right now I don't have a real uh, strategy as to how to organize the colors, but I'm just kind of throwing them in there and making sure they fit and kind of making sure that the kids know that that's where the markers always need to go with the cap on when they're done drawing. This marker organizer that I have actually came from the container store, but I did find a comparable version on Amazon that actually is pretty cool because it stacks the layers. So the markers that are in the back are actually a little bit higher than the ones in the front. So you can see all the colors all at once if you're sitting at your desk, which I think is a great idea. So I'll link to that one for you below to check out. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about that we have been using nonstop lately is Audible. Audible is an amazing place to access audiobooks. They have really high quality recordings of everything. They even have like celebrities come in and record things and put them on there. So it's a really great way to have access to pretty much any book that you want in audio form. If you're interested in getting Audible for yourself, then check out the link in the description below for a free month trial of Audible. Again, I use it nonstop. Lately, the girls and I have been listening to Jane Austen novels. So we listened to Emma over the summer and we just started Sense and Sensibility, which is perfect because I have three daughters and Sense and Sensibility is all about sister relationships and all sorts of shenanigans that girls can get themselves into. So the girls have really been enjoying it and I highly recommend Audible for any homeschooling family because like I said, we use it a ton and if I can't find an audiobook somewhere else or if there's a wait time through the library for what we want to listen to, Audible has pretty much always got it. And I want to mention that if you already have Audible, there's a whole feature that I didn't even know existed until like 
a few months ago, where if you have it, you don't have to spend credits on these titles. So there are some that are just included free with your membership. And a lot of these are old free domain books that, I mean, I use in my homeschool or I like to listen to with my kids. So it works out great because I don't have to use credits on all of these. Again, if you want to check out Audible for free, click the link in our description below. It's a great resource. Okay, so back to another actual physical product we've been using in our homeschool. It is paints and canvas. Oh gosh, I don't know if you can see this, but um, last Christmas, an aunt gave the kids these canvases and a set of acrylic paints. Now, I love art. I love teaching about art and artist study and composer study, but I was a little apprehensive to give my kids acrylic paint because I had acrylic paint on hand a couple years ago and when my toddler was more like a baby she totally made a mess of our carpet upstairs which we will one day need to replace <laughs> but for now it's just a big huge paint mess on the carpet so if you have carpet cleaning tips for getting acrylic paint out of carpet let me know so one day during the toddler snap recently i had the girls just go crazy with acrylic paint and these canvases which i think are the perfect size for kids you know it's not too big but it's enough space to kind of get your idea across and they loved it. And this also goes hand in hand with what we're doing in Ambleside Online right now, which is artist study. The first artist that we started with, which was I think a great first pick, was Vincent Van Gogh, which I think his art really speaks to kids because it's so bold, so colorful, but also there's a sort of like dreamlike whimsical quality to it. And my kids really enjoyed learning about him and his art and his style. So I'm trying to kind of go from, okay, let's look at this art in front of us to let's try to replicate it or let's try to see how he did those strokes so that he created that sort of effect. So that's another thing that I'm kind of transitioning towards this year is putting more emphasis on artist study. Now, if you're not adventurous enough or trusting enough to trust your kids with acrylic paint, which I totally understand, there are other paints you can use. You can use tempera paint, which is what they use. Like I remember using it in elementary school. I think it's water-based. You can always use watercolors too, which is a completely different type of art and a different type of technique. So whatever paint you're using, just make sure that if you want to teach some sort of art lesson around it, that you're looking for resources that teach that exact type of painting style for that type of paint. Okay, and the last resource that I want to talk about today is another service kind of like Audible, but this is called Marquee TV. I had heard about Marquee TV a few times through um, different like Shakespeare podcasts that I was listening to because Marquee TV provides access to like Shakespeare plays, live theater performances, ballets, operas, and symphonies. So it's a really great way to incorporate fine arts into your homeschool. It's basically a streaming service, kind of like Netflix or Prime or whatever, in which they have all of these wonderful performances. And like I said, I've been using it for Shakespeare for probably about a year, maybe more than a year now. And lately I've been getting into more of the symphonies and operas, which is also really fun. They also have a like a live Beatrix Potter musical, which I'm <laughs> interested to see. I don't know how that would exactly be adapted into stage, but also, I mean, like I said, Shakespeare, they have tons of Shakespeare on there. Um, they have a bunch of Royal Shakespeare Company performances. They also have a bunch of the Globe performances, which are actually performed in the Globe kind of in a more traditional way. And I tend to gravitate towards those. But if you're at all interested in introducing Shakespeare to your kids, these are really high quality performances that are exciting and entrancing and my kids love them. It's as if I'm putting on a Disney movie for them because I think that a lot of these performances are just so well done. My friend Christine, who did our summer book club this past summer reading home education with us, is obsessed with Marquee TV. And so we're always texting each other back and forth and being like, did you see this on there? You should watch this with your girls because we have all daughters. And it's just so fun. And I just love to create a community around these arts because they're just, at the very least, they're fun, if not actually hugely inspiring to kids and adults, really. You know what's weird is I didn't list any books here, which is totally not my style. Books are a huge part of my homeschool, so if you want to hear more about some books that I use actively in my homeschool, I'll link to my Living Book Press 
book haul right over here. See you next time and happy homeschooling.